whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the Nicar Tailored. I had a look around on the internet for the story of the whiskey and there's not much of a story behind that. It's, it's a, a whiskey, it's a blend and it says uh, a premium blend of the historical Japanese whiskey maker is a worthy ambassador of the Japanese know-how and culture as well as Nikka's exp uh, expertise. Blended with precision and delicacy prime, uh, is a blend primarily of malted barley from Miyagikyo in Honshu and Yuichi in Hokkaido, along with coffee still grain. The result is a perfect uh, balance, roundness and softness. So many adjectives to characterize Nika. Okay, so who was the historical whiskey maker? Was it Yamasaka Takitsuru? Maybe they could have written it on there. But um, for everybody who wants to know what's inside the bottle, that was also the full description. Um, so we have malted barley, so single malt from Yuichi. Um, I don't think they only produce single malt there. Then single malt from Miyagikyo and from coffee still grain. And that is probably also from Miyagikyo because Miyagikyo has pot still and uh, column still production and yeah it says premium blended whiskey and no doesn't say much about it it's probably more about the taste so i'm sorry i can't can't give you a a nice marketing story about all the bottle and all it around it but i can tell you a little bit about the two distilleries uh, because i've visited both of them um, Miyagikyo and Yuichi are both from Nika, and Nika is uh, was bought by Asai, and they're both like big companies like Coca Cola, but with beer and water and everything. And Yuichi was the old distillery that Yamasaka Takitsuru uh, created in the far region of Hokkaido, and he started first with an apple farm, and then he switched to whiskey and and then he went on to go to Sendai and there is the Miyakikyu distillery and he built that together with his sons and now Nika has two distilleries and they produce the fine, yeah, these fine blends. And blend for everybody is not a term in Japan to be yeah, downgraded they do really love the blend because they belong they believe in the perfect blend of all the flavors and when they say they have many flavors they produce a lot of different flavors in the distillation at all the distilleries so there are probably three four uh, different kind of grain distillates and as well as many malt distillates to choose from mm. it's really very 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 fruity even when I opened the bottle I already had it in my nose it's very apple-y so there's a lot of apple in there oh. a little bit of a honey or what's that that Canadian stuff maple syrup yeah maple syrup that smells a lot like maple syrup so it is a a really sweet blend really sweet they didn't even say anything about uh, the casks or anything so no age statement mm. Mm. It's sweet with a lot of oak, mm, a lot of oak. Feels a little bit like a mixture between fresh casks and, and old casks. Mm. So it's it really with that oak, a little bit of creaminess, a lot of sweetness, also a bit of stickiness. It feels a little bit like cake. Com 
strange to see cake combined with oak so a little bit like a whole grain cake <laughs> hmm usually not so fond of whole grain cakes <laughs> so it's a, a hefty one mm. now that i had a second sip the oak really adds up it really intensifies with the uh, second sip mm. oh, oh, it has has quite a strong oak influence mm. so yeah unfortunately don't they don't say what casks they use uh use and neither do they tell anything about the age so poor oh, mm. could be old could be also very very fresh casks mm. but mm, doesn't 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 feel or taste very old it doesn't taste mature it just tastes of a strong cast character so i would rather say mm, fresher younger casks it's well above the range where you say there's youth in it but it has um it's not an old whiskey and it has a lot of cast character not any fruity complex cast character but a lot of strong yeah oak oak influence i would say that way mm -hmm. i like it mm, it's a, it's a good whiskey is it worth a hundred dollars pounds euros i don't know i don't know it's it's a good whiskey if you if you are not that short on money then i would say yeah give it a try if if you want to look at really looking at price per value then uh, maybe not that fine for you then you could you could find cheaper whiskies with a with a similar quality profile i would say so yeah thank you very much for watching if you like this video then please feel free to give me a thumbs up and see you next time